Courtney Thorpe and I am representing Miss World Australia. I am very proud to be out here in the Australian outback of the Northern Territory representing the Miss World organisation and all of the past contestants. Together we have raised over $300,000 for charity over the past few years and I'm out here and I've got to spend a few days seeing where some of that money's gone. Over the last 12 months I've seen the community at Lilla benefit greatly from the um, improvements that have been done to the housing here. I, when I first came here I used to see things like you know, third world problems like um, scabies, massive boils, um, those preventable things happening all the time even to the extent where we have to call a flying doctor plane in to evac people into Alice Springs for treatment for these massive boils. Since the houses have been improved through the help of the Miss World money, I haven't seen a boil at any of the Lilla population, the kids or the adults in the last four months. I've been fortunate enough to be invited into the classroom here at Lilla to get to know the eight students that attend the school, get to know a little bit more about them, their interests, their hopes and their dreams for their future. It's something that was really close to my heart and something that I feel very, very privileged to have gotten the chance to experience, being a primary school educator myself. It was a bit of a shock going into the classroom and seeing dogs running around, um, the fact that it was so hot I could hardly even think, but it was an absolute amazing experience. These kids are so excited and so happy and have such a passion to learn. It was, um, it was really humbling. And being able to get the chance to read my children's book to them as well and get their first reactions to the book that I've written was, was pretty incredible as well. Thanks to the Miss World organisation and all of the contestants over the past few years, we've been able to raise funds to give back to this community and improve these conditions. Before the Miss World organisation came along, the people of this community were living in absolute squalor. There were children expected to sleep on concrete floors. There was dilapidated houses. Um, there was no hot water systems. Basic human rights and necessities they didn't have access to. So thanks to the Miss World organisation and being able to raise over $120,000 to give back to this community, they now have access to hot water systems. They have access to refrigeration, washing machines, new beds and mattresses, and the things that you and I take for granted every single day. A few years ago, Miss World Australia decided they wanted to raise funds for Indigenous communities in remote areas in Australia. They started searching for a way to be able to do that and to make sure that they did select the right organisation to, to donate to. Upon doing this, they were lucky enough to come across an amazing man who's devoted 22 years of his life to being able to help the communities in Outback Australia and the Northern Territory in particular to be able to improve their lives and give back to them. It's been something that has been absolutely eye-opening for all of us involved and I know that all of us will be leaving feeling very differently. So, <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to the man that has made this all possible. The business that I've created um, reaches out and helps uh, the children of the area and helps with their education. Uh, big help is um, Miss World coming on board uh, in 2012 um, and helping us out with a wish list to uh, help with the hygiene and uh, the education of the kids in this area. Um, up until three years ago there was no school and there was about 14 kids not getting an education. We're pretty remote, pretty isolated, but it shouldn't matter. Every kid needs an education. Our next project with Lilla is being able to further the education of the students in this community. So after doing a little bit of research, we have found that there's only 3.3% of the schooling population in Australia is made up of Indigenous students. Some of the reason for this is because, as you've seen, that only caters for the primary school students. Once these students do get older and they move into, more, into the higher grades of school, they don't have the facilities, they don't have the curriculum and they don't have the teachers to be able to work with them to further their education. Our project with the Lilla community is to be able to rectify that and give these children somewhere to go and the children from the communities from the surrounding areas somewhere to further their education. If we're able to do that and provide them with a place to go and all of the equipment and facilities that they need, we will be able to help improve the lives not only of these children, but of future generations.